Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 summer 44. So today, guys, I want to discuss with you guys the Golden Boy 2023. So we have our nominees, guys. And today I'll be discussing about who I think should win and who I believe will win. So for me, it comes down to two players, Jude Bellingham and Javon Musiala. Now, I know people in the comments are going to below are going to tell me, what about Alejandro Balde? Because obviously he's also a nominee and also could maybe win it. The reason why I don't think he's going to make it the win it is simply because I just don't feel like he has that. Um, I just don't feel like he's been as impactful as those two. I feel like Musiala and Bellingham have been better. As well as the fact that he's not really, he's only been one season. And as I said before, I don't really think he's as highly rated as those two. You know? Now, for what I know, he could win it. I wouldn't be completely surprised. I just think he has the lowest chance of the three. I'm pretty certain, though, that it's going to be Jamal Musio, Drew Bellin. One of the two is going to win it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure about that. I'm like 95% confident. So let's discuss this, guys. Now, remember, guys, this is based on the calendar year. And the calendar year of 2023. Keep that in mind. So, let's start with Jamal Musiala. Jam Musiala has been amazing for Bayern. He's simply sensational. I think he's been a very integral part to Bayern Munich. And remember, he is the guy that scored the winning goal for Bayern Munich in the last season's Bundesliga. And had he not scored that winning goal, Dortmund would have won the league. That goal is a crucial goal. A very seismic goal. And it's a very much clutch goal. And it's a very much an important goal. So you have to give a lot of credit to Musiela to score that winning goal. And remember, Bayern were playing as the away team. And Bayern were, literally had to score in the final. Like it, he scored, I believe, in the final 10 minutes of the game. Like it was a late winner in the 87th, 88th minute. So he not only scored a goal, he scored the late winner, the title deciding goal, and what could be a very, very important goal for Bayern Munich. Okay, now that you understand that, let's talk about Jude Bellingham. Jude Bellingham has been amazing for Real Madrid. He's been sensational. He's, I think, scored 10 goals in 10 games. That is insane numbers, and the guy has been unbelievable. He's been playing as a CM, and he's almost playing as like a striker. Like That's how good his numbers are. He's literally playing as a striker at this rate, which is ridiculous. Because for a player at this age, to carry Real Madrid is insane. 20 years old. Like... I don't care if it's tap-ins, I don't care if it's rebounds, whatever. It's still a crazy, crazy achievement. The guy has technique, man. I've seen some of his assists has been amazing. I think he did a Trivella assist a few weeks ago. It was a crazy, crazy assist. So the guy has technique. He's not just like a goal scorer. He has more to his game. And I think for Drew Bellingham, he's been amazing. The one thing I hold him back, though, is what happened with Dortmund. That's why I, that's why I can't give him the award. Because for me, I just can't give the award for him for not winning the league with Dortmund. Because here's the thing, though. had Let's just play the scenario. Let's say he had played the final match today. He got a goal, got an assist, and let's say got the winning goal. Just hypothetically speaking. Then I would give him a lot more kudos and credit. Considering that Dortmund is the underdog of the Bundesliga. Dortmund are not even the favorites. And the fact that they win the Bundesliga on the final match today... It would have been a great way to send off Dortmund. It would have been a great parting gift. It would have been an amazing way to end his Dortmund career. And finally, do, in doing the mission impossible by winning the league title with Dortmund. Because we all know how how much Bayern dominated. I think Bayern have won like 12 in a row. So, that for me is the reason why I can't give it to Jude Bellingham. Because this is based on the calendar year. See, if you're going by this season, by this new season. Oh yeah, Jude Bellingham for sure deserves it. I'm sorry, Jamal Busiela hasn't come back clutch. I know he did a score, uh, I suppose you could say, against, um, what is it called, Copenhagen. But, um, you know, the thing is he didn't score the winning goal. I think Matthias still scored the winning goal. But anyways, getting back to this. My issue with Drew Bellingham is that, as I said, he all the goals and assists he did for Dortmund really amounted to nothing. It really amounted to nothing. And that is a shame is that he had a really good season, and domestically speaking. He was fantastic. I think he had like 10 goals and 10 assists. Like, that's insane numbers for a midfielder. And I just think that for me, for Dortmund in particular, for Bellingham, he just didn't perform, you know. And I know people are going to tell me, well, he didn't play the final match today, so how can you be critical against him? Well, my thing is that he was still a player on the bench. He was still there. He could still have made an impact. So my thing is that if you really are injured and you really couldn't have played, 
then why were you on the bench? That doesn't make sense to me. That just doesn't make sense. And I think for me, like I said before, guys, I believe Musiala should win it. Now, who I believe is going to win it, I believe Jude Bellingham is going to win it. I think Jude Bellingham is more rated by fans, and I think he will get the um, votes that he needs, and you know he'll probably have more popularity. So that's the reason why I think he will win it. But I would personally give it to Musiala. Whatever the case may be, though, we're going to have to find the winner out in December. And like I said, guys, this is just an individual award. It doesn't really change much anything. And let's be real, guys. At the end of the day, team trophies are way more important than individual award. But I feel like we need to discuss about this on the channel because, like I said, guys, it's a big award. It's a big European award. And so I feel like we should talk about this on the channel. So I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys think of my opinion? Do you guys agree with me? Do you guys disagree with me? Comment below with you guys. And I try to be make this as objective as I possibly can. So like this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. Comment below your thoughts. Comment section below. Um, and everything like that. And obviously also consider becoming a member of the channel. Like access to members, member streams, which we, of course, do on a weekend every week basis on Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, check out the descriptions. Check out me and my other podcasts in the description below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. And also turn notifications on to be notified whenever I upload a video or go live. All right, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.